What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out the latest rock device from Doogie. The one that we have here today is called the VMAX. Of course this phone is shockproof and also waterproof. But this is also the biggest phone that I got to try up until now and also the heaviest phone that I got to try up until now. Just to give you an example, this is how the phone looks next to my iPhone 14 Pro. So much much bigger um, phone. Now I wasn't able to find the weight on any website and my digital scale stops at 400 grams. So I'm not sure how heavy this is, but I'm estimating somewhere around 500 to 600 grams. So basically over a pound. This is by far the heaviest phone that I got um, to try up until now. So if you do manage to, to fit this in your pocket, because it is a pretty big phone, it will pull down your pants because it is that heavy. So you're probably going to have to carry this um, in your backpack. Now, there is a reason for that um, extra weight, basically. So inside this phone, we have a 22,000 milliamp hour battery. So this phone is going to be able to go for many days um, without charging. Now, when you're going to be charging this, it does support 33 watt fast charging and it does come with a fast charger in the box, but you're still looking at over four hours to charge this from zero to 100. But at least you're not going to have to charge it um, that often. Now, this is also one of the fastest, if not the fastest rugged phones that I got to try up until now. So this one, it's using the MediaTek Dimensity 1080 that's paired with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. And I find this phone very, very fluid. Everything that um, I've done on it works really well. Chrome works really well. YouTube works really well. Facebook works really well. And you can also play games on this phone without any problems whatsoever. So it is a very fast um, device. Now, of course, it's not going to be as fast as a flagship, but on the Antutu benchmark, it gets a score of about 500,000. So you know that you're looking at a pretty fast um, device. So as I said, one of the fastest, if not the fastest rugged phones that I got to try up until now. Now, the screen also has um, a refresh rate of 120 hertz. So if you're playing games on it, for example, that will give you the edge, let's say um, that. So this is a 6.58 inches IPS panel that has a 1080p resolution. As I said, a refresh rate of 120 hertz. You can also select different refresh rates. And it is a nice looking screen. The colors are nice and vibrant. The viewing angles are pretty good, but it doesn't get that bright. This is the maximum brightness for this screen. Yeah, I think you can see it on the camera. So indoors here, no problems, but if you do take the phone outdoors, uh, it's tough seeing the screen. So that is probably the my main complaint about this phone. The screen doesn't get um, that bright. If the screen would have been brighter so you can use it outdoors, this would have been pretty much like the perfect rugged um, phone out there. Now, build quality, this is built like most Doogie phones out there. So we have a combination of plastic, maybe some rubberized plastic on the corners here. Then we have um, some metal on the sides here. And the back does look like leather. However, this is still plastic um, on the back here. I don't think that this will get scratched. It just looks like leather, but um, yes, um, it is um, plastic. We also get um, two front-facing speakers. So at the top here, we have one speaker, even though it looks like we have two speakers, we actually have one. And at the bottom, we have um, our second speaker. And as I said, even though it looks like we have two, we actually have um, one. So one at the bottom, one at the top. The speakers are quite loud, but they lack bass. So they could have been a bit better. And I guess this is a quick example, just so you can hear how uh, those speakers um, sound like. All right, and going back to our device at the bottom here, we have a hole for a microphone and um, the USB-C charging port that's covered by a rubber flap. And um, of course, you can also charge other devices from this phone. So for example, you can plug in um, a different phone and you can charge it from um, this one. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier on the sides here, we have some uh, metallic plates. Um, on the left hand side here, we have the slot for um, the SIM card. The device can take either two SIM cards or a SIM card and an SD card. It does not take um, an eSIM. Here we have a customizable button and on the other side of the device, we have the volume buttons and the power button. The power button is also a fingerprint scanner. Let's see if we can get that on camera. So as a fingerprint scanner, it does work uh, pretty good. So lock it, unlock it. Maybe not as fast as um, a flagship, but I feel that um, the fingerprint scanner works pretty decent for um, a rug device. And moving to the back here, here we have three cameras. So the main camera on this device is an 108 megapixel sensor. We also have an ultra wide camera and the 20 megapixel night vision camera. So on the side here, we actually have some infrared LEDs. So this device are gonna be able to take pictures in complete darkness, like pitch black, and you're still gonna be able to take pictures with this device. And next I'm gonna show you some um, sample pictures that I took with this phone around um, the building here. I mean, the pictures are decent for a rug device, but I don't think you're gonna be able to compare those pictures to the pictures that you're gonna take with, I don't know, the Samsung Galaxy S22, just to give you an example. But for a rug device, probably one of the devices that takes the better pictures, well, among rug phones anyways. As for um, video capabilities, you can also do 4K at 30 frames per second with this device, but it doesn't seem that it has um, video stabilization, or if there is video stabilization available, it doesn't seem to work that um, amazingly. And of course, this is a quick example of um, a sample um, video that um, I filmed um, the other day. All right, we have a quick video test to the Doogie VMAX. So for this recording, I'm using the main camera and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. We're gonna walk this way. Now, it doesn't really seem like it has um, any type of um, video stabilization, or if it does, well, it doesn't work that uh, amazing. So I'm uh, walking this way. I'm trying to keep the phone as steady as possible. We're gonna walk this way, so we'll cross the street. We're gonna stop somewhere around here and we'll pan left. So kind of towards uh, the sunshine. So yeah, 4K 30 frames per second through the VMAX, uh, Doogie VMAX. This phone also supports 5G connectivity, so if your carrier does support 5G, you could um, get 5G on this device, depending on your carrier, depending on your region, and so on. We also have Wi-Fi 6, so whenever you're playing games, whenever you're downloading something, if you do have um, Wi-Fi 6 at home, the speeds are um, better than normal, I'm gonna say. We also have NFC, an NFC chip inside it, so you could make payments using Google Pay. I've also tried the GPS unit inside it, and it takes about two seconds to find your location. It doesn't seem to lose it. And we have a variety of sensors available as well. So if you need a phone that will last for many days on a charge, so for example, if you take this phone camping for a week, there is a really good chance that you're still gonna have battery after a full week of using this device. So with a 22,000 milliamp hour battery, this will last for quite, um, quite some time. Now, the downside, of course, is the weight because this is a massively heavy phone. So you're gonna have to carry this with you and well, it's not a light phone, not to mention it is a pretty big um, phone. And as I said earlier, my biggest complaint about, well, really my only, for this kind of phone complaint is the fact that the screen doesn't get um, brighter. If the screen would have got brighter, well, I could have said this is like the perfect outdoor camping um, type of phone because it is a very fast phone. The cameras are pretty decent um, on it as well. But um, yeah, the screen doesn't get that bright. <laughs> All right, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. This was the Doogie VMAX rug device. I'll see you guys in the next one.